California is a major agricultural state. It makes up a very important part of our economy. Our, our largest crop here in terms of land use are almonds. Almonds are heavily pollinator dependent. So without pollination, our almond growers aren't gonna have a crop. A lot of our other high dollar, high value sort of specialty crops in California are also highly pollinator dependent. So avocados, blueberries, raspberries, you know, apples, a lot of stone fruits. And then even a lot of our vegetables, if they're being grown for seed production, really require pollination. So for California as a major agricultural state, all of those crops really need pollinators. And without pollinators, our farmers would really be in trouble. One of the reasons that insects are declining across the board is the loss of habitat. So planting hedgerows is a really great way to create permanent high quality habitat for declining species, including pollinators. If you plant a native plant hedgerow full of blooming plants, you're providing floral resources like pollen and nectar for our native bees, our wild bees. You could be including butterfly host plants for a lot of our declining butterfly species. In addition to providing nectar and pollen, hedgerows also provide shelter and protection. So a lot of invertebrates will nest under bunch grasses. They also nest in pithy plant materials. So from food to shelter, hedgerows can really provide very important habitat for pollinators. When you have a good, po healthy population of insects, they make it more difficult for a bad population to take over your crops, right? So it's like a natural buffer. But these things need to eat too. And when we create monocrops or eliminate all these other plants, we're also eliminating the food source for these creatures. And so a healthy hedgerow is one where you kind of look at all of these shrubs and grasses and you say, hey, when are these pollinating and how do I put a mix together to have it, you know, 12 months out of the year, have something be pollinating, having food available for these insects. Some of my favorite memories of the work we've done is, is walking out and seeing a, a gum plant that's just like packed with insects, it's just humming with all of the stuff. And then the, you know, the next season, it's the mule fat. And you could just see how these insects are trying to make a living and they need these resources. And so when you plant hedgerows, you create these really amazing ecosystems that all kinds of little critters are surviving on. Over a period of 30 years, we uh, did a lot of research on hedgerows, and we found there's huge benefits to farms in terms of uh, enhancing biodiversity. You get a lot of songbirds that, uh, that come through this area, and these songbirds are all using the, uh, the hedgerows. A lot of insectivorous birds as well that, uh, that feed on, uh, uh, that move into adjacent crops and feed on, uh, on crop pests. And you get, uh, you get bees for pollination services. You get more natural enemies like ladybugs and parasitoid wasps and surfid flies that all help to feed on crop pests like aphids. You get better pollination, you get better pest control, you actually use fewer insecticides and uh, and that all leads to cost savings which in turn is you know revenue for for your farm. So what we found is that the hedgerows will actually pay for themselves within about seven to fifteen years and after that then you're actually generating revenue. We haven't seen any any issues or concerns. Uh, they're too small on a larger landscape scale to, to affect food safety or, or rodent issues. And, and it's also just plain habitat is very important because uh, if you don't have habitat on your farm, then there's nowhere else that the animals can go except for in your crops. So if you are planting a hedgerow or creating habitat that's going to support pollinators, you're doing your part to, um, you know, address biodiversity and help protect declining species. But you are also going to be getting ecosystem services back from that hedgerow that you're planting. So on that level, I really see creating habitat and supporting pollinators as a win-win, both for the pollinators and for the farmer.